Uh, what's a what's a construction worker's favorite type of wine? Is it a backhoe noir? It is, yeah. I'm gonna carefully not knock over all of the important glass stuff. Oh dear. What up, internet? Hey there, camera. We're bumbling tourists. And we're from Niagara. In case yeah. you didn't know their camera, I'm pretty sure you probably knew. But uh, did you know what Niagara is famous for? Other than Niagara Falls? Wine. Wine. Uh, Niagara is the, the heart of wine country here in at least Ontario. Also, fun fact, it is one of the three places in the world where they can make ice wine. Ice wine's gross. It is gross. <laughs> <laughs> we're not a fan of sweet stuff. But um, Baco Noirs, which we're gonna try today, are a little bit sweet. So that's a little bit um, uncharacteristic for, for me at least. Uh, Baco Noirs have always been my favorite. Uh, what's, a, what's a construction worker's favorite type of wine? Is it a Baco Noir? It is, yeah, it's a bad joke. It's a horrible joke. So normally we do this with beer, but we're um, doing the same system here where we've blindly sorted these. One of us numbered the bottles and glasses on the bottom and the other did the pouring and there was shuffling around so neither of us have any clue which is which. But within these five we have the 20 Vs. Which I think is the cheapest of these ones we have here. So this is Serenity Lake Q7 mm -hmm. from 2017. I believe these are all VQA. Yeah, they are. They're all VQA. Which um, the criteria to be a VQA wine is like a certain percentage of grapes from the area. I'll put that on the screen and fact check myself. Uh, over here we've got Lakeview Cellars, which I believe is the most expensive wine we're dealing with today. Yeah. Uh, it is also a reserve from 2017. Back here we have Harbor. And uh, Harbor is interesting. Um, I went on a wine tour, I don't know, a couple years ago now at least. I went to Harbor and they told me that the place they sell their wine to is Hong Kong, which is interesting. So they don't sell uh, any other wine at the LCBO here because it's tough to get your, your beer or wine sold by the LCBO. So they export almost all of their wine exclusively to restaurants in Hong Kong, which is interesting. And this guy here is also one of my favorites of all time, uh, Henry of Pelham back in Oire, and this is from 2019. Um, I should say the Harbor one is from 2018. I think I've had all of these except for this one. Yeah. And since that's the most expensive, I hope that the tastiest is that one. I, I am a big fan of uh, the Harbor. They will deliver to your house if you live in the region. So yeah, I guess we should probably give these guys Embark. a try. Uh, cheers. Cheers. That's wonderful. That's wonderful too. Mm. That tastes familiar though. This one tastes pretty sweet. That might be the harbor. Ooh, this smells coconutty. Can you smell that? Yeah, what the hell? That is a strong coconut scent. That is much drier. That that I'm gonna guess is the Lakeview Cellars. Mm. We got fancy glasses just for the video. I like that one a lot. Out of the first three that I've tried, um, that third one's my favorite. This one kind of smells more like a riesling. Mm. Ooh. What? You don't like it? Eh? No. That's very harsh tasting. I liked it, whatever mm. it is. That one smells like grape juice. This is unlike anything I've had. And it is good. It's weird how much it smells like coconuts. It doesn't have that so much in its taste though. This is sugary, kind of like a cheap wine. That's weird, because I had the other sensation, but I thought this was the most sugary one. Mm. Well, I, I haven't had. had that yet, so. Yeah, so maybe the second one just seemed not as sweet by comparison. These to the are the one. cheaper ones, right? Mm, if, no, and this is the sweetest. Have you tried the last no, one? No, I haven't. I'm ready to predict if you let me go first. Yeah, go for it. I think this first one is the Harbor. I think the second one is the Lakeview Cellars. I'm gonna go with this guy over here being the Bees. And I'm gonna have to try these two again. Purely because I like the one on the end better. I'm gonna go with this. Yeah, um, I think the first one is 20 bees. I'm gonna invert these as well. I might agree with you on these last two. The, the first one tastes really familiar and I feel like I've had that one the most in recent. I think, oh, I, I didn't mention that. I think this one's my favorite, the second one here. Yeah, it is my favorite too. I'm pretty sure. 
<laughs> for a while, maybe. So it'll be weird if uh, that's not that. <laughs> well, let's uh, let's start. Oh wait, this is your guess. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So let's start by uh, revealing what number is in the bottom of that one there. This is number one. So number one. Number one, I got it right. Oh, look at that. Booyah! Number two. Let's see what that is. This is number two, oh, number yeah. two, or? <laughs> this is number five. Number five. I got two for two. Yeah. You were saying that you weren't getting winning any of these contests. Since he said that, he's been on a roll. He's won like the last four. So. Um, There's still three to go. Though. I know. This is number four. Number four. Dude. Holy smokes. <laughs> number two. Number two. You oh. got it. You got perfect. No way. I'm a wine snob. You know why you got perfect? Because you cheated. Whoa. <laughs> God, it's possible. That's you your joke. Up. That's your joke. So, um, you might be happy to know that the most expensive wine is uh, both of our favorites. Yeah, it's, it's good that... <laughs> Yeah, it's delicious. Um, I want to favor some more of this. That being said, I, I also like the cheapest of red wines. Um, I'm not a wine yeah. snob. I just like red wine, especially this, Dogma. This one was a bit too sweet for me. I love how dry this one is. I, I'm usually a fan of dry wine. We know nothing about wine. Yeah. Um, just for the information of people that aren't from this area, uh, every year Niagara has a grape and wine festival. You go there and you get a glass and you can try a bunch of local wines, but there must be like, I don't know, a hundred wineries around where we live. A and lot. you can go on wine tours and stuff. Do you have a favorite type of wine out there? And uh, the great question of all time here, uh, red or white? Red. Uh, you used to be a white wine guy it's until, true. Yeah. until me, so yeah. come on. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. Let us know what else we should do taste test wise and if you like this type of thing. And make sure you tell us if you like red or white better or if you've tried backos and uh, yeah. Yeah, until next time. Uh, until next time we got a lot of wine to drink because this is all gonna go bad if we just leave it sitting there. Killer bees on the swarm. Take left camera. Protect your neck. <laughs>